subscribe to the Light Sports and Ultralight Flyer web video magazine with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos each two hours in length, propeller maintenance, advisors, and repairs, Vieira's parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com. I have it here in my hand, the Wick Air, Wicks Aircraft Supply uh, catalog, and a brand new one featuring a, a tribute to Paul Poboresny, the founder of EAA. Uh, getting to be an older gentleman now, but he's still hanging around at the air show and being a big presence. Today, we're at the Midwest LSA Expo 2011 here in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and I'm speaking with Scott Wick of Wicks Aircraft. And uh, Scott, uh, speaking of Air Venture and Paul Poveresny and their family and what they do over there in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You had a mighty strong show, I understand. Yes, we did. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a great year for us. We uh, appreciated all the business from all the customers who came by and supported us. We we picked up a lot of new items, uh, brought them to the show, uh, expanded our booth spot. We attracted Paul to come and sign sign the books for us, our catalogs, and even had Bert Rutan come by. I was going to say, you had a couple of pretty major names there uh, that you had some nice pictures of. It's a nice way to promote your business, but also a nice way for people to get to meet those big and famous names. You see these guys at the air show, and they're usually zooming by, and you can't, oh, hello is all about all you can do. So Scott pulled them right in, had them sign in autographs and yeah. stuff like that. So I understood at the show that one of your strong items, we're standing right next to the Dynon display here, and I understood that one of the strong items for you at the show was the Dynon handheld radio, which most people kind of go, what Dynon handheld radio? <laughs> so tell us how that went and tell us a little bit about that radio. Well, uh, we just found out about the radio just before the show. We've been a Dynon dealer for years, and I said they came out with this radio. And it's a nice, compact little package, and the price is right. And we couldn't keep them on our shelves. We had to keep restocking and rebuy them. I don't know if we went through 20 or 40 of them, but we just went through a whole bunch of them at the show. It's what is very the well received. It? It's $150. $150. This is 2011. This could change over the life of this video. But $150 for an aircraft right. radio right. is a spectacular bargain. No yeah, wonder. Normally, a handheld hand radio, you're talking about $250 plus. Yeah. Yeah, so if they came out with a real nice design, a nice unit, and got the Dyna name on it, so it's yep, interesting. Boy, that name is, uh, five years ago, nobody knew what Dyna was. <laughs> Today, I think just about everybody knows what Dyna is. Exactly. And, and you're one of the folks that's selling plenty of hardware for them. So another thing you said in the uh, news release that I saw about your success at Oshkosh was that pretty much if it went in the panel of an airplane, people were buying it in significant quantities at AirVenture 2000. Right. Some of the other really big movers is well, the new technology of the LED lighting systems. Everybody's going to that. It just makes so much sense. They're bright. You don't have the big flash tube. You don't need the extra power pack. You don't carry the extra weight. And they don't take nearly the power of the traditional lights. Too, and they're they supposed to last 50,000 hours. I don't know if I'll be around to see one last that long, but 50,000 hours is a long time. I'm guessing time. you don't have that many hours in your logbook today? Not yet. Not with <laughs> LED lights on anyway. Good, Scott. Well, we appreciate uh, what you do at these shows. You supply a lot of stuff that people need, not just home builders, but airplane owners of all kinds. And of course, handheld radio has got nothing to do with building an airplane. What are your other products that are your best sellers at these shows, Scott? Well, uh, these uh, personal locator beacons, the spots, and the fast finds are become very popular. And uh, it's the new technology making life so much safer when you're flying than it's ever been before. These will help find you if you're in distress, uh, work through satellites, and people will know exactly where you're at with GPS within feet instead of miles. So it's, yeah, these it's things, we're talking about feature. stuff for pilots yes, uh, who uh -huh. want to have these things in their airplanes, but yes. you don't even need to be a pilot to enjoy you one of these things. You can use this if you're camping, hiking, if you're hiking or something. boating, uh, kayaking, whatever your hobby is. 
you're in distress, people can come find you instantly. So it's kind of like an emergency locator transponder or an ELT in an airplane, except it says right here, it's like as though you were talking to someone. Is there an opportunity to do that with this device? Uh, there's another version of the spot where you can actually send text messages through Bluetooth technology out to this to your friends. So if you want to send them a message other than just I'm in distress, you can do that and send them a text message in another version of this product. So for example, <coughs> having a great time, everything's okay. That's I'm right. not in distress. That's right. Excellent. Is there another product that you would point out to us, Scott? Well, this is a new line for us here too. It's a complete oxygen system. When you're, if you're looking for an oxygen system, there's lots of decisions to make. How big of a canister? How many people do you want it to use and serve? And it's just kind of confusing. So we put together a package here, which is kind of unbelievable. For $499, you can get the mask, a canula, your choice of size. The only choice you have to really make is what size canister you want, the larger or the smaller. It comes with four positions, so we can expand this to fit up to four people, or you can just use one for one person. And it comes with a finger pulse oximeter and a nice carrying case, all for, for that price. So normally when you think of going to oxygen, you're thinking, I'm going to have to spend seven, eight hundred thousand dollars plus. But this package, if you're wanting to get an oxygen system for yourself, this is the way to do it. And I see they all come with your name on them. Is that well, right? that, that's, that was a good idea, but I don't think our customers will like that so much. Maybe not Scott Wicks up everybody. That's right, but you can actually put your own end number or your name onto this for another $20. So we'll customize it for you, which are the first ones that come up with that idea. Now, just on down the line here, I see a little bit more that we might want to look at. This is not batteries to power electric airplanes, which were a big, excuse the pun, buzz at Oshkosh. <laughs> but these are different kinds of batteries. What purposes do these serve? These are lithium iron, not to be confused with lithium ion, which kind of explode. But these are a safer form of a lithium battery. Lithium iron, you said. Iron, yes. A ferrite, or iron ferrite is, is the term. And sure this, this little thing weighs, what What do you say, a pound or two? Wow, yeah, that's light. That'll, you normally think of a battery as a yeah. substantial thing, but yeah. this is really light, so this one must be... <laughs> right. This is like a few, like maybe Ounces. a couple of D-cells or something. Mm -hmm. This one here is an 8-cell, and it's, it'll run up to a 50cc engine, so all of your Rotax, the little two-cycle versions like the... So this would do a uh, Rotax 503, this would start a Rotax 503? 503. Wow, that's something, and weighing that and little. something smaller, you go to the 4-cell. They also have a 12-cell, which I don't have with me, which would go up to a, up to a thousand cc's, actually. So if you're getting up to the 912 series of the Rotax engine, it'll fire one of those off. And so this is this is an 8 here? So a 12 eight wouldn't cell. be, it would just be, well, it would be about like this then, wouldn't it? Uh, that's about it. Okay, right. and that and it would weigh something like that? Yeah. Just the two of those? Bigger. Well, that is just not very much weight at all, so considering what people think about the old lead-acid battery. Yeah, and the battery technology has come a long way, and it's, it's gone really fast forward in the last couple of years. Yeah, we're hearing a lot about advancing battery technology mm -hmm. with cars and airplanes flying under electric power and so forth. So, well, well, if you fly an airplane these days, you wear a headset. Now, when I was a younger pilot and flew ultralights a lot, we didn't always wear headsets, and so I'm a little harder of hearing today than I used to be. Not wanting that to continue to happen, you get a headset these days. Almost everybody does. And look at this supply of them that Scott Wickham Woods Aircraft has for us. Scott, help me understand what all we've got here. <laughs> well, uh, there's a lot of new technology in headsets, especially the ANR, the Automatic Noise Canceling, or some call it ENR, Electronic Noise Canceling Systems. If you haven't flown with one of those type of headsets, you don't know what you're missing. It really does kill the background noise, the engine noise. It, it improves your communications with the tower, uh, even your passengers, if you have an intercom, you can communicate so much better and the say again phrase doesn't come out of your mouth nearly as much as you're flying with them. And, and, uh, I first got sold, uh, when I heard about it, I was skeptical. I was like, well, what's this ANR stuff? How good can it really be? So I went to Sun and Fun one year and I tried them all on <clears throat> and I, I found out a lot of things. One, I thought maybe I'd have to spend a thousand dollars. You think you've got to buy Bose for a thousand dollars to get a good ANR. Well, it's not really true. I've got two models over here which have excellent noise canceling features. Uh, one is by Flightcom and one is by Headsets Incorporated. 
and both of them are for $350. $350, is that for right? For a noise canceling headset, and it really works. Well, thank you. Can you <laughs> I'm kidding about that, but you said you don't know what you're missing, but actually you are going to be missing something. A lot you of have noise, it. and I flew for headsets. I like you. It wasn't really cool and fashionable to fly with headsets. And eventually I started to when I needed to, and, but I found out the headsets are uncomfortable, and you get this fatigue from all the noise. Uh, you just, you'd be worn out after a trip. It may block the outside noise to some extent, but it still sort of transmits a lot of noise to you. Correct. And the whole concept with ANR, ENR, is that it makes more noise that offsets the noise that you don't want right. to hear, which is a really say that again kind of thing. <laughs> Only not 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 what, not what you're commenting about. Say it again. But so give us a little more about that. Well, what happens? Uh, the way I understand it works, there is an actual microphone inside the speakers inside your headsets itself and it records the sound and inverts the sound and plays that back to another set of speakers inside your headset. So what that does, the noise is in inverse of the noise coming in and the two cancel each other and you can't believe how well it works. If I put this headset on and turn the noise canceling, if I, you close your eyes, you think you're in a living room by yourself. You really, all the background noise just, kind of just goes and away. All the and words and everything. Is, and the engine is, about, but they're, they're affecting you. And the engine specifically because they're geared around killing the sounds or canceling the sounds of the engine frequencies, most of them. <clears throat> most, a lot of your verbal and communication frequencies are different than the engine frequencies. So uh, you don't want to kill those because you still want to talk because you we can actually talk to each other with the headset on but the engine noise just goes away which is the biggest noise you have yeah so plant. it kind of works on the steady noise thing rather than mm -hmm. someone speaking which is right. up and down and right and it, i suppose they could cancel that out too which right which begs me to ask them will this work with my spouse and then i don't have to listen anymore <laughs> that would just be terribly tempting wouldn't well, some it? of us men are cute i didn't mean that you're honest some of us men are accused of having that switch, <laughs> that automatic wife canceling noise switch. Wife canceling yeah, noise, yes. Yeah, but uh, actually, for that's not a healthy thing to have, especially. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Well, get off the subject. Can, can you plug this into something else so that, for example, you're going cross country and you'd like to listen to some of your music? Is this available? Well, a lot of these headsets, like this one in particular by Sennheiser, does have a couple extra plugins here so you can plug in your cell phone your iPad your your any type of iPhone any kind of sound producing mp3 player any kind of sound producing device so you can listen to the it music a, as so it has a standard uh, fitting on there the, the, the plugs. mini plugs mm -hmm. okay and two different sizes I see too, so correct so and then there's, different kinds. there's also a package that comes with this of different size plugins too so you have a few choices great so a lot of interesting stuff here, and, and, and I know, from I saw your Oshkosh display, my goodness, looks like a whole store there. A lot of stuff available at Wick's Aircraft. Scott Wick is the proprietor of it, been coming to these things and doing this for a long time now. Thanks so much for speaking with Thank us you. today. Appreciate it. And we're here at the Midwest LSA Expo 2011, and we're reporting for aircraftreporters.tv.